everybody, welcome back to some more Ranked Doubles Battles Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2020. I do think there's a good chance this will be my last episode before March 1st, so before the rules roll over. I'm also going to be taking uh, the first week in March off. Oh lord, I'm sorry if you had to hear that. Yes, computer, I understand. I understand. Um, so I do... Um, Sorry, so I am going to be taking the first week in March off, uh, both from streaming and from videos. Uh, I'm going to, my fiancé and I are going to his parents' house in Florida um, for the week because it is his spring break. So we'll be doing that. Um, and because I don't really want to pre-record, like, I could pre-record episodes so that there would at least be, you know, two or three episodes that, or two or three videos that week. But I just feel like... Because the new meta's coming out, like, there's no- people- I feel like there's no point in pre-recording, um, if that makes any sense, because it's gonna be a brand new meta. So I'm just gonna jump in the second week in March with both streams and videos. But anyway, we find our first opponent. Hmm. Okay. I forget, is this Intimidate Gyarados? Oh, we are using a new team. Um, it was built by a player named Viper. Yes, it is Intimidate. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to check that. Um, Rotom W. That seems like it's a little bit of an issue. Um, Conk is... I really like Conkelder here. I really, really like Conkelder here. Um... I think I want to go Grimmsnarl. And Delete Passimian, like I do I think Gyarados is good, but I'm gonna try this. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. And we'll see how this one goes. So my opponent really going down to the wire here. Did they get it in? They got it in. Okay, they got it in with one second left. Ooh, their lead card, they got the plaid in the background. That is very intense plaid. Like, that is some putrid green plaid they have there. Okay, so let's see what their lead is. They got a beast ball, so that's dope. Okay, they did lead to Simeon. So I do a fake out. Does Pasimia get like play rough? Because Hmm. I kind of want to go straight. I don't want to do this, to be honest. This might be a... I maybe should be fake-outing this turn? I maybe should be fake-outing this turn? But if he chooses to Dynamax the Togekiss, then that's how that kind of backfires on me. And Togekiss don't usually run... Was it, was it his Passimian that was in a Beast Ball? So Passimian getting large, probably. Unless it's Togekiss. It is Passimian. Okay, that's kinda cool. That's kinda cool. So I don't really know what Passimian's run usually. Does it get play rough? Because that's worst case scenario. Okay, so we're gonna take out the Togekiss. Because Togekiss usually don't run Wakanberry. Is it like Focus Sash? It's not. Okay. So that's something. No more Togekiss. And so Togekiss was one of my really big threats to Conkelder. So I think Conkelder can do a good amount of work in this game. Okay, you're just- you're max steel spiking. Do we- With the berry, we should survive this, you'd think, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Good. That's nice. He does get a defense boost. He does get that defense boost. We have one physical attacker in the back, and who else did I- We have actually two physical attackers in the back. Okay. So I have to keep that in mind. Okay, so who comes in for you? Titar. Sandstream goes up. So I can't fake tears the Titar. Um... I'm really tempted to Thunder Wave the Passimian. And Max Wormwind? No, I can't. I will set off. I have to Max Lightning. Yeah. I have to Max Lightning. Okay, we hit the T-Wave, so that's nice. So I have to max lightning here because I can't- I really don't want to set off his competitive. Oh my gosh, that does nothing. That does actually nothing. Okay, you crunch. We do survive, and you get fully parried? Whoo, that's nice. Okay, not gonna lie, that's huge. That is super, super huge. That was absolutely massive. I'm gonna Spirit Break and Max Lightning. That was super, super huge. That was, like, that was amazing. Okay, so we get another Max Lightning off. Okay, brings him below half, so that's not nothing. That's not nothing. Ooh, we get the Spirit Break off. Oh, we're gonna set off his competitive! No! Oh no, I played around it! And then I did it! No! Oh no, I'm such trash! Oh! Actual trash! Oh my god. Oh, I'm such trash. Oh my god. When you are actual garbage. When you are actual garbage. But we get to bring in Conk and Excadrill, which have pretty good matchups here. Okay, you're a plus two defense, right? Um, so I'm gonna Drain Punch. And I am going to Iron Head. I think an Iron Head should take out. I maybe should be doubling into the Passimian here. I should probably be doubling into the Passimian. I can't believe I did that. I'm such tr garbage. Oh my god. I was like, I, I made a note to myself. I'm like... Okay, that's huge. That is huge. Okay, we'll get all of that back. We'll get absolutely all of that back. From the Drain Punch. That's nice. Okay. So what is their last Pokemon? And can it take out both of these? That's gonna be the question. Do you have something that can... 2v1 this. What it? Oh, it's okay. okay, it's your Excadrill. That's scary. But, um, I should be able to Drain Punch and High Horsepower here. So, okay, he's going for the flinches. So hopefully we can get one of these off. Okay, and we connect. That's really nice. Are you Sash? We also know he's Sand Rush because I'm Sand Rush and he went before me. So, could have Mock Punched, but. Maybe. So, um, uh, Mock Punch was probably the better play because even if you Rock Slide flinch me twice, I think two Mock Punches should take you out. 
So it was definitely the better play. I I played pretty poorly in this game, I feel like. In that end game, I probably could have protected Excadrill and Mock Punched. Or even gone... I could have... No, I think double attacking is fine there, but I definitely should have Mock Punched. And I also should not have Spirit done Spirit Break, but if the Tyranitar was also weakness policy, there was literally no way for me to not proc something. I, like, I can't T-wave the Tyranitar. If I Spirit Break it, then I might set off its weakness policy. If I, I did Spirit Break the, um, the Passimian, and then I did set off its Defiant, so that wasn't, I, I keep, I kept calling it competitive, but I'm pretty sure it's Defiant, um, ability. So, I'm not thrilled with the way I played that, but getting Togekiss, like, getting Togekiss that first turn, I think was huge, because his team, not super Conkeldur weak, but just without Togekiss, you know Conkeldur can put in so much work. So I am happy with my decision to target down that Togekiss first turn. Um, also, I will say, um, the par Paralysis was extremely lucky. So he probably, well, was it? If he was going max, if I'm to believe he was going max steel spike into the um, Grim Snarl, which is what he had been doing, it actually probably would have been fine if he took Grim Snarl out, because then I wouldn't have procced his, uh, I wouldn't have given him the plus one, plus two, I think actually. So, you know. Oh. Wow. I haven't seen Drift Blim since. 2018, I don't think? Like, Drift Blim Lele was super popular, and I loved it. Um, you could even do, like, I even saw some Drift Blim Feenies. Uh, so Drift Blim, if it's holding the Psychic Seed, if he brings in Indeedee, uh, he can get the Psychic Surge up. And then, uh, Drift Blim will be given a plus two in speed, and it will have a plus one in spadef. So it's something to keep my eye on. I feel like Grimmsnarl's tough because of the Psychic Surge. And I can't really do anything. Like, I guess I can Spirit Break. Spirit Break's pretty decent. Because he does have some fairy weaknesses. But I can't... I, I, I actually can... I can fake tears the, um... Drift Blim. If that's what I want to do. Hmm. This is a tough one. I feel like. I'm honestly not really sure what to go, what to do. I haven't brought Gyarados. Is Gyarados okay? I feel like Gyarados is actually okay here. Mm. There hasn't been a single game where I haven't brought um, Grimmsnarl, so that's like a little bit concerning. I think also Conkeldur can be, um, useful here. I honestly don't exactly know what to expect from my opponent. We both have the same, like, um, uh, card. Uh, I don't know what to expect from my opponent. I'm a little bit lot nervous. My opponent has a very, very cool team. Okay, he does lead the Ndidi Drifblim. Okay. Okay. Okay, Surge goes up. Okay, there's the seed, yeah. That makes sense. Um, do I want to save the Dynamax for anything? Like, maybe Excadrill? Mail and D does not get follow me, I'm pretty sure. Dragon Dance? I don't know what to do in this situation. So I'm gonna click Dragon Dance. He might burn me, and I'm not Lumberry. But... So that would be unfortunate. But I still think that's okay. Um... What are you Dynamaxing? You're Driftblim? You're Ndidi! Have I ever seen Dynamax Ndidi before? I don't think I have. 
Well, no trick room, I guess. Okay, yeah, you do go for the Will-O-Wisp. But I'm gonna Dragon Dance, so I'll be fast. And then only at minus one, I believe. Okay. We do a really nice chunk of damage. Okay, what does Indeedy go for here? I don't know. Does that have, like, T-Bolt? Okay, you go Max Mindstorm. Okay. That's a lot of damage, actually. That's a ton of damage. I'm gonna Dragon Dance again. Um, yeah, I'm gonna- this might be a little bit too greedy, but I'm gonna keep dragon dancing until he press- like- Okay, yep, you tailwind, that's to be expected. Okay, you max mind storm. I did a lot of damage. Uh, I think this was- okay, this was probably a little bit too greedy. swept by this Dynamax and Didi. That's crazy. What coverage moves does it get? Okay, so I'm not plus two speed. Am I going to be faster than the Indeedy now? With my Gyarados. I kind of wish I had... I mean, this is a special Dragapult, but um, I feel like Max Airstreams would have been very good here. I do think Max Airstreams would have been very good here. Okay, Sylveon comes in. win this anymore. I don't think I led the right stuff. Okay. Well, that's something, I guess. Nice damage. That is really nice damage. Okay, you went for the Gyarados. That makes sense, I think. Both of our Dynamaxes are over now, I think. Okay, so we get another defense fall, so that's not the worst case, I don't think. Um, I think I bring an Excadrill. Okay, yep, indeedy. Um, one or two more turns of Tailwind. Let me check. Uh, wrong thing. Two. Uh, I can double protect this turn. Oh, I don't have EQ. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, okay, we lived. Oh, it was a crit. Okay. I should have probably double protect there. Yeah. Good game to my opponent. Um, I guess I can go- I'm gonna go for the double with the Dragapult. I think- I honestly, if he didn't crit me, we maybe could have survived. 
Because that was a crit mystical fire. So if he didn't crit me, we maybe could have survived there. So I have to go for the double with the Dragapult. Oh, I don't even have Protect. Okay. No, we don't get it. Okay. Uh, well played to my opponent. Um, the crit definitely hurt because I think we would have survived both without the crit, honestly. Maybe not. That, that did a lot. I, oh, okay. There's a girl on the Togekiss. So, but, it, but the girl on the Togekiss didn't matter. Um, definitely well played to my opponent. Uh, what did I need to lead? I honestly think um, Grimmsnarl would have been a really good lead there. I think I should have just led the Grimmsnarl because uh, that first turn I could have fake tears. I could have fake tears and then taken out the um, the uh, Dragapult. No, the uh, Driftblim. And then I could have been like spirit breaking to decrease special attack. So I think that was definitely the play. I think that was 100% the play, and I just brought I just brought the wrong Pokemon. Like, I don't know what I thought Gyarados was going to do there, because it literally did nothing. But super cool team from my opponent. Um, I do think I'm going to call it there, uh, because that was two battles. Oh, I guess it was pretty short. Like, we could do one more. Um, but no, I think I'll call it there. So this is probably going to be the last episode I play on this ladder. Let me see if I manage to end... Um, I really want it to be top 2,000. I probably will stream more. Like, I'm recording this on Sunday, so I'll probably stream way more, but, um... Uh, but I really wanted to... Last season, I ended so, so low on the ladder. Like, so, so low on the ladder. Um, not that it... Like, I just want to make Master Ball, you know, that that's the important thing to me. But I do really want to... Yes, okay, I'm still in the top 2,000. I really want to stay in the top 2,000. I would love to get into the top 1,000. And so that's going to be my goal when I stream later this week, is to end in the top 1,000. I would absolutely love that. We were pretty close, but then Hayden had to come and use an Indeedee. Like, ew. That's gross. Stop it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Not only none of that, and I do hope that everybody is having an above average day.